Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today we're going to be looking at what are the most popular game engines. And we're going to look at this at an empirical sense, that is what game engines were used to make the most games on Steam, specifically. Obviously that is going to skew in a certain direction, yes, these are not uh, perfect numbers by any means. I'm getting them from two different sources that were recently published, and I just found you thought you might find this interesting. And I gotta tell you right off the hop, you're probably not going to find the results really that shocking. Uh, there are certain game engines out there that are just super ultra popular, and uh, we're gonna kind of be reinforcing that today. So what we're looking at today is something called Steam Database. We've also got another source, more of a a hand curated look at the top 50 games on Steam from 2020. Uh, so we're going to look at that as well. Uh, but first we're going to look at Steam Database. Steam Database was recently updated to add game engine information in it. And Steam Database is sort of like a third party tool for collecting data on Steam. So you can see who plays the most games, what is um, the most popular selling game and so on. It's a very interesting site. Uh, and if you want to check it out, it is available at... Uh, steamdb.info. But now what we're looking at is their new category called tech. And here is the heart of this video. This is using uh, detection um, her her heuristics. Heurist Anyways, it's using detection uh, mechanisms in order to figure out which game engines are by looking at uh, the data sets on Steam. And um, it's not going to be perfect by any means, but you can see here what the most popular game engines are. And by a basically four to one lead, we have Unity. Now do keep in mind, this goes back all time. So old game engines are obviously going to uh, win out on this regard. Uh, it also includes all games, regardless to how many people watched them or played them. The other list we're going to look at is more curated based on popularity. But yeah, almost 25,000 of, 25, of the games hosted on Steam were made by the Unity game engine. That is actually kind of insane. Uh, after that, we have the Unreal Engine coming in at 6,000 games published. Uh, game Maker has almost 2,500. RPG Maker has 1,700. RenPy, this is probably the first shock to me. Uh, RenPy is uh, kind of for writing uh, novels using the Python language, uh, visual novel type creator. Uh, over over a thousand games there. Uh, XNA, uh, which was Microsoft's uh, sadly abandoned game framework for building games, uh, was used to make 540 titles, including some really popular ones, actually. Uh, Adobe Air made 386. Then we get the first appearance from the Godot game engine at 314. Now, do keep in mind, Godot's only been publishing games onto Steam for about uh, two to three years now. So uh, a few of these engines definitely have, like, so I think, uh, for example, Game Maker has about a 10 year lead on it. So this doesn't mean of the games published now, this is published all time. Uh, mono game is here at 269. Now I'd be interested to see how they detect mono game versus X and A, because some X and A titles were ported using mono game, but uh, you could probably lump these two in together uh, because mono game is an open source port originally of X and A to various different platforms. So uh, X and A slash mono game have a pretty good uh, almost 800 games between them. Uh, and then we get into um, construct. Uh, has 188 games. Source has 133. Lime or OpenFL, those are hacks-based game engines. 133. Adventure Game Studio has 116. FNA, which again is a this is a performance-oriented port of XNA. So with that factored in, we're getting closer to a thousand XNA titles out there, which is pretty shocking. CryEngine has 98 games. That seems wrong to me. Um, that seems high, to be honest, but uh, Love has 79, uh, the, the Blunder Game Engine has 64, Kiri Kiri, 61, Play First Playground, 45, and then so on and so forth. We're starting to get into the smaller or, um, you know, very specific to a company kind of game engines now. And amazingly enough, there are six Pico 8 games published on here. Uh, but yeah, that is the list. Uh, in case you're kind of curious, you want to dig down a little bit more into the details, there's some other interesting stuff here. Uh, for example, you can see um, 5,000 games used NVIDIA's physics, 3,000 games used the SDL libraries, 2,500 used FMOD audio libraries, 669 have Discord integration, NVIDIA Ansel was used for 348, QT uh, Framework was used for 347, and so on. And that's kind of the end of the information that is available here, but there's definitely some um, some standouts here. I think the one that really kind of shocked me the most is the amount of RenPy. There must be a lot more visual novels on Steam uh, than I realized. Um, it's nice to see also just how uh, successful XNA actually was. When you take these three and combine them together, 
Uh, that would put it kind of right in the just under RPG Maker. Now, RPG Maker, you're going to get a ton of shovelware-style games out there. And again, this doesn't account into if a game is good or not. So we have engines out here that are certainly capable of creating shovelware, and that's going to uh, definitely add up uh, to these numbers. In fact, I bet you would find that, and this isn't a shot at Unity by any means whatsoever, but if you go and look at like the... Um, the number of asset flips out there. Uh, I, I bet you Unity is the asset flipping language of choice because you can get so many things from the asset store, kind of throw them together, make a quick game and dump it up there. Uh, so that's also going to inflate these numbers. But those are the numbers, at least as uh, SteamDB pulled them. Uh, it is driven off of a set of um, heuristics, I think is the word, right? I'm not sure if I'm saying that wrong, but a set of rules. Uh, these are the rule set that they use. So if you want to get into here, the rule sets are available uh, up on Steam. You'll also see that they're uh, updated pretty consistently. So if there are false positives, whatever, uh, you can come in and report them and they will uh, try to fix them as best as possible. But this is uh, the rule set for uh, how it is finding uh, the particular game. So basically what they're doing is they're searching for um, file names and paths and such that make sense to be in the file sets. Um, so that's how they're, they're hunting these things down. Now, if it's not a perfect uh, solution, you're going to have some false negatives and false positives. Uh, but it is definitely an interesting project and it should improve over time. So if you want to get into like specifically how um, the, the, the detection is, is done, uh, this information is available. I will link this in the linked article down below. Now that is just straight reading through Steam's documentation. If you want a more curated list, this is an interesting one. It was published a few weeks back on Reddit, and this was published by some guy, uh, WX Labs, uh, and he basically, he does this by hand. What he does is he goes through the uh, Steam 250 rankings, grabs the top games there, and then basically manually researches what programming language and what... Um, what game engine were used to make these titles. And here you can see the top 50 games. Uh, a lot of them are going to be custom game engines, but you see here we've got Unity, a source game. Uh, there's a Flash game here, which is actually kind of shocking that in, in 20, one of 2020's most popular games was made in Flash, which doesn't really exist anymore. Uh, we've got RPG Maker, a couple of Unities, a couple of Unreal, another custom, Kiri Kiri. I don't actually know what Kiri Kiri is. Uh, two Unities, another source game here. How is Black Mesa? Okay, I don't know how Black Mesa is a top <laughs> top 50 game, but okay. Uh, unknown, so sometimes he didn't figure it out. Uh, also, by the way, if you're interested in his news source, if he's got it available, he does link to the blog or the article where he finds out about the engine that was used uh, on the right-hand column. So definitely make for an interesting read. More Unities. Game Maker Studio here is with Post Void. Uh, we got some custom here. Uh, more Unity, more Unity. Another Kiri Kiri. I'm going to have to look up what the heck a Kiri Kiri is because I don't actually know. Because uh, it just keeps showing up here. Um, I, I imagine it's the in-house game engine of some company, but uh, I, I actually don't know any of these games either, to be honest. So I have some research to do after the fact. Interestingly enough, the Fire Engine shows up once again. Fire Engine is the um, in-house Sony engine. Uh, it's sort of made as like a, a tech demonstrator in some ways. It's been used to make a number of different games out there, but it showed up one more time here. Renpai makes another appearance here. Uh, milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Now, that's interesting because only Canadians put their milk in bags, as far as I know. Uh, and then we got a couple more Unities and another Game Maker Studio. So if you want a breakdown of the game engines for the top-selling games or the most popular games on Steam in 2020, we've got Unity at 23, uh, Kiri Kiri. It's an open-source engine for visual novels. Uh, okay, so it's another Renpy type thing. Uh, now I don't need to research it, at least. Uh, it, five visual novels, top Steam, which is insane. Uh, Unreal Engine has three. Game Maker Studio had two. Source 2 had two. RPG Maker had one. And Custom Other is 14. And the, actually, he did the same list in for 2019's titles, uh, uh, again, about a year ago. And I'm assuming in 20. Uh, 21, he'll do the same thing in 2022, I guess that would be. And here you can see Slay the Spire uh, got number one at Lib with a LibGDX title, which is actually kind of cool. Slay the Spire being that uh, card game. Um, I've got Game Maker Studio showing up really high at the top. Model Game, Click Team Fusion, Game Maker Studio, a bunch of Unities again. Another LibGDX in here. Uh, it, this was a much more interesting year on the whole, uh, but again, Unity was pretty dominant. Uh, so, Chris, I will link this article as well. Um, this is a, a bit more by hand, so if you're uh, going to have a big grain of salt, this is where you would use it. But I got no reason to not believe these under, these um, these numbers here. And the Steam database stuff again, it is using rules that uh, look for certain files in the Steam uh, archives there. So uh, 
if it's got bad detection heuristics, it's not going to pick up the specific games you want. But as you can see on the tech page here, this is the most used game engines of all time on Steam. I don't think it's a shock to anyone that Unity is up there. It might be a shock that they're up there with a four to one lead. Uh, some people may be shocked Godot is at 314. Uh, but again, it's only been a couple of years. It'd be interesting to see how much that one grows by. Uh, there's again is Kiri Kiri, which I guess I need to look into because my I guess my visual novel uh, logic is, is a little bit lacking. Because uh, apparently between Renpai and Kiri Kiri, uh, they definitely seem to be doing uh, quite well. Now there's some, some game engines actually straight out missing here that I find uh, somewhat interesting. Like, there's no Pixel Game Maker on here. Uh, there's no Cocos on here uh, and so on. So definitely it isn't flawless detection by any means. Not It's not 100% representative of game engines that are out there. And if there's another game engine out there that's missing from this list that you think should be here, uh, let me know. Uh, and if you can figure out a way to like actually um, you know, help them with their, their rules matching uh, to actually detect that game engine, well, we can fix it. Uh, so uh, if you do find an issue, you can report it here on the uh, on the Steam database. So you can see here a couple of people have already found stuff. Game, Maker, uh, Game Studio A3, Ogre uh, isn't right, uh, Lumberyard isn't being detected or is detected as CryEngine and so on. So if you do run into an issue or you see something that is definitely reported wrong, uh, you can uh, report it to them. Uh, but yeah, that is it. That is the most popular game engines on Steam uh, in this case of all time. And then in this case, in uh, 2020, via the top 50. Uh, let me know what you think of this list. Do you think there's any information in there that's kind of interesting? I think really the only thing I picked up from it is visual novels are way more popular than I thought. And uh, there's an engine out there called Kiri Kiri. Uh, let me know what you think. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.